right? National title number two. How's it feel? Feels good. Yeah, I mean, um, that was obviously the goal going into this weekend, um, and the goal is for two national titles. So um, still ready to go for tomorrow, but it definitely feels good to check this one off. Know that I'm exactly where I want to be in training, and it felt good, and yeah, it gave me a lot of confidence. What was your game plan for the race today? Uh, the game plan was really just go out, like get on the rail, and then just just make it happen. I didn't want it to. Go, start going too slow, which it did start going a little slow. And at one point, I got up there and I know, tried to push it a little bit, but I was uh, still the goal was to win it. And I kept reminding myself of that and just set myself up for the best position to win. When you took the lead, like a little bit before the bell, it seemed like you went all out for about two seconds, then you backed off a second. Like, what was going on there? Yeah, I saw Boar um, looking back, looking back, looking back at me, and uh, I had a feeling that. Uh, when I tried to go around him, he was going to make a move, and I just wanted to make that as decisive as I possibly could, and um, it worked out in my favor, and I, I was able to get right around him before he could react. So is this going to be an easy double back to you compared to, like, last year at NCAAs? It seemed like you had an hour between the finals every time. Now you got a whole day. Yeah, compared to that, maybe, but uh, there's some really good guys tomorrow. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, Cooper's not one of them, but definitely a really talented yeah, field. Yeah, were you worried when he test positive? I assume you guys are in close contact a fair amount. Like, were you worried at all? Oh, I might, might test positive soon. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I, I had got here the day before, and I had already gotten my second test when I was here. Um, so I didn't really worry about it because I already tested negative twice before I came, and then when I got here, um, so I was really shocked. Yeah, that here he got it, but it's just a just a flu. Is that a requirement that you have to test negative twice to compete? Yeah, you have to test before you come and then add when you get here. Yeah. Do you, do you anticipate tomorrow's race to be faster or uh, more of a slower time? Um, it's hard to know. It's definitely now in this day and age, for the last like the past year or so, every championship's been a little quicker. So I'm prepared for that for sure. But um, yeah, I'm just prepared to go out there and send it. It's going to be hard regardless. Yeah. Can, can you kind of describe how serious this last one has been? Olympian, you know, heading your first world championships. How, how did this all mean to you so far? Uh, it means so much. Like, last year all happened so fast, and I kind of described it as just a blur, and i um, obviously super happy with it, and it was just one race after another. I didn't have time to think. Now I've had some time to think, and uh, I think this is my first test at another, uh, like, big stage, um, like a national championship, so um, I was really happy with it. Now having had that soak in, having time to think, regroup, and then still give it my best on the day. Because this is last year, you were just finishing up NCAAs indoors, still going as a student at the University of Oregon. And now you're the pro life. Yeah. How's pro life been so far? It's been great. Yeah, you know, I've just, just been able to dedicate so much more, more of my time to what I'm trying to do in this sport, and that's just to progress and uh, become the best in the world. And so just having uh, all, most of my time uh, able to focus on that and just feel like a game changer and I feel a lot stronger. Can I ask you about the, uh, the wrap on your top? Like, are you, are you healthy or what's that point? Yeah, that some dude just, just patched me up after that. I just got spiked uh, like two or three times in the race. It was a bloody mess. But. Yeah. With the understanding that any type of race could develop tomorrow, what, what, kind of, what kind of race would you prefer to? Um, I really don't have a preference. I feel uh, obviously strong in my ability to kick off in a slower pace, but also um, where I'm at in training, I feel really confident in a fast pace. I'm ready to go with whatever. How do you assess your medal chances in this event at the World Championship? Oh, well, first of all, I assume you'll. Are you running the World Championships? Um, I'm actually not decided on that yet. Oh, okay. What will go into that decision about whether to compete there or not? Yeah, oh, why is that? What what will go into that decision? Like, what factors do you have to weigh whether you just run it or not? Um, a lot of it's just I don't know. Well, I'm just listening to my coach's advice really, and uh, um, it's just a lot of travel, uh, chance to get COVID, uh, and stuff like that. And with the big goal this year is outdoor worlds on my home track. Um, it's kind of limiting cross continental travel. It's just a good thing for training. So do you, do you want to run it, or are you okay with not doing it? Um, of course, it's it's hard, hard to turn my nose up at any world championship. They only come so often, so often, so I'm not definitely not uh, just taking this for granted. Um, so I would be happy to run it, but at the same time, um, I know my my big goals lie, and I'm just wanting to do the best thing. Will you lobby your coach to run it, or <laughs> I don't know. We'll have a conversation about it. Yeah.
and your kick, we saw, I mean, we saw the kick again today. How do you feel it compares to where it was this point last year? Um, this point last year, I think I'm in the same spot, if not just a little quicker. Um, definitely been a slower build up this year. Um, just once again, we have a bigger thing coming come June, and uh, last year we that wasn't for like that wasn't the big goal. The big goal was in CAA, so um, we were very sharp, very early, and then sharpened up again for outdoor NCA. So it's a little bit different, but I feel equally as strong as last year. All right, thank you. Congratulations. Right, thank you guys.